What is up, guys? It is the Sound Alchemist, and I'm here joined bit with blah, joined with the one, the only Gersh One, and welcome back to another episode of For the Greater. Yeah. This is a video series where we answer the questions left by you, the viewer. If you have a question for us, comment down below. Put a question in front of your question because we answer those questions first. That is what All Might did. He asks, "What's more heretical than proclaiming the emperor is at fault for the Horus Heresy on Christmas?" I'll tell you what. Uh, proclaiming that the emperor is dead. Or no, it's not a god. Because the Imperial Creed, their whole um, shtick, is that what you call it? Um, is, is centered around the idea that the emperor is a god. If you take that divinity from him, then he was just a person and anybody can be a god, specifically any powerful psyker, which is why I believe that the emperor being a god is so um, beneficial for the Imperium. Oh, sorry. I'm, I'm practicing my bird box um, cosplay. Bird box. Everybody's talking about bird box. You haven't seen it? Oh, I've seen it. <laughs> um, it, it's not a horror movie and it's not a scary movie. It's like uh, suspense. Suspenseful. Yeah, yeah, yeah. There, there, I was going to create a 40 facts video on it. Um, I'm probably not because it's going to take a lot of time so we could just talk about it after we answer this question. What was this question? <laughs> What's more oh. heretical than proclaiming the emperor? On Christmas. <laughs> so what do you think is the most heretical thing? I said that the emperor is not a god. You can't take that one because that one's mine. Saying that the emperor is a god. Because if I say that, then you'll just burn my favorite city down by sending the ultramarines to it. And you'll lead me to chaos. And eventually, I'll become a chaos demon prince and I'll call myself Lorgar. That is what happened to Lorgar. What's his? No, Uriel. Is it Uriel or Ariel? Lorgar? Lorgar, are you Ariel? Lorgar Aurelian. Aurelian, there it is. I knew a guy named Uriel. He owned, or his family still owns, the Pancake House. Hey. But anyway. Free pancakes? No. Uh, <coughs> Free syrup. But well, comment down below, what do you think the most heretical thing is? Because let's talk about Bird Box for a minute. Uh, if you haven't watched Bird Box, spoiler alert, is it Bird Box? Yeah, the that's the name the of the bird thing. box. Yeah, that sounds like dumb. <laughs> the only bird box I'm looking forward to is some Popeyes. Yeah, give them, give me that three piece bird box. At the end of the movie, when the when the children are running, and so is the mom, and then the girl keeps falling, she keeps falling. She has the bird box in like her possession. How did those birds not die? The thing is, how did the birds not die when they fell off the raft? That's true. They're being like <laughs> they're yeah, in a it's box. A they're like moving around. They're underwater. Yeah, yeah, unless it floated. I think the birds were the demons. Maybe. Or the monsters, whatever. But, so, that's a good um, segue into talking about these demon monster things that we never saw. Well, we saw, like, pictures of them. Which Kinda. apparently was enough to turn them. No. Because they didn't, after he saw the pictures, isn't that what made him? No, he was just a high-functioning psychopath. Mm -hmm. So, like, I think what it is, this is just my speculation, these creatures didn't affect... Uh, the people that came from the insane, insane asylum because the the um, creatures give whoever they that's looking at them the strongest emotion based on their characteristic. So if you are naturally a negative person, you're going to see a negative image and it's going to be to the point where you want to kill yourself. If you're a positive person, like that one chick who saved the pregnant chick is, if she saw her mom and she was all happy. She was like, Mom, I want to be with you. And then she goes inside the car and then she burns to death. Um, that mixtape was playing in that car, by the way. What mixtape? <laughs> we'll see. Because <laughs> <laughs> it was on fire. Okay. I get the it. aux cord caught on fire. I got it. <laughs> um, what was I saying? Oh. Damn, what was I saying? She saw her mom, so she went in there to, to, to see her. Right, because they... They were seeing that, the, the, the strong emotion that fits their personality. Yes, and so, so the reason that the, the demons do not affect the crazy people, uh, or the people on the spectrum, not to offend anyone, uh, 2019, we're trying to be uh, PG, uh, Women Space Marines, hooray. <laughs> oh, <laughs> speaking of that, uh, Sisters of Battle should be coming out this year. Supposedly. They were supposed to come out in the... Oh, um, that's true. In the chapter, chapter approved. approved. But they didn't come out in the chapter approved. But anyways, demons. So, fuck. Oh, 
Um, There's a lot of tangents. Yeah, they've already those 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 people that come from the the insane asylum, insane asylum, whatever it is. Um, they have already seen like evil, and they have already uh, witnessed like their their minds their minds are all messed up to begin with. So when they look in, upon the demons, they just see demons. They don't get that same effect. Now, going back to the demons, the demons are Slaneshi in origin. You would think that they would be um, Zinchian, but no, they are Slanesh in origin because of the the extreme emotions that Slanesh... They, they produce, yeah. yeah. So it's pleasure for... It's so much pleasure or so much pain that it causes them to kill them. So it, whenever you think of like, what would it be like to have a, a planet invaded by Slanesh? Like that. Like that. Uh, the cultists are the people from the in insane asylum because they've already uh, come to respect Slanesh. They've already gone crazy. And all the rest of the people are witnessing She Who Thirsts and they want to become part of She Who Thirsts. And they end up either killing themselves out of pleasure or out of extreme pain. Um, so if you ever... Yeah, so that, that is a, a slaneshi uh, What is it called? Incursion upon a world. So there you go. It's an interesting take. Wait until I talk about Aquaman, because <laughs> the battle in Aquaman is basically the Imperium versus the Orcs. Spoiler alert! <laughs> but yeah, that was a really big tangent. That was. Next question. Cluck, have the Orcs fought the Necrons? How did that turn out? They yeah. have. You play Orcs. Yeah, they, they, they've they uh, I stolen. feel like they would just get like demolished, the Orcs, that is. Uh, well, it depends on because they've they've pillaged tomb worlds before. Because sometimes so, I feel worlds, like those are like sleeping tomb worlds. Yeah, yeah. Because sometimes they don't wake up, and it's just like, okay, well, the orcs are gonna bash some. What are they called? Um, spiders and wraiths. The spiders, the wraiths, and the uh, scarabs. Yeah, they, they just destroy them, and then they have like a bunch of warriors, and they have a bunch of like other things that they can loot, uh, and they do. Now, when they're actually fighting. The Necrons in like open battle, the orcs are built to fight Necrons. Like, that's why the old ones created them. They are the military branch of the old ones. Um, of course, they can take on some Necrons. Uh, what are they called? Tin heads? <laughs> tin heads, yeah. yeah. Tin heads versus the green skins. Green skins. That's what they call them, right? Yeah, tin yeah. heads. Yeah. Uh, that sounds a little racist. <laughs> they're Necrons. They don't have souls. Or emotions. No, they don't. They literally don't. That's what's got stolen from them. It's 2019, so we'll just go back to saying Necrons, not Tin Heads. Next question. <laughs> Damien Henderson. Now, you guys have mentioned that you play a lot of D&D. &D. Have you ever considered playing any of the Warhammer RPGs? There's the new Wrath and Glory, such as the older... <coughs> Uh, Fantasy Flight RPGs, Dark Heresy, Rogue Trader, Only War, Death Watch, and Black Crusade. You need to watch more of our 40 Facts videos because I talk about this all the time. I've been trying to get these guys to play Dark Heresy. Um, it's just that you need a good group and uh, Dark Heresy is not an easy game to pick up. Um, but yes, I, I've thought about playing. Well, your Dark Heresy is really hard to pick up because it's always like oily. And like the parts that aren't oily have like little like thumbtacks stuck onto it. So it's really hard to pick up. Yeah, yeah. Uh, even though, uh, I don't think I would want... Uh, n now being introduced to D&D &D and then looking at um, uh, Dark Heresy, I would much rather play D&D &D than Dark Heresy because Dark Heresy, you you have to be an acolyte of the Inquisition. You can't play an orc. You can't play a crew. That's what I want to do. I want to be a Xenos. I don't want to be an acolyte. Um, so, yeah. Just make your own D&D &D stuff and sprinkle it with 40k. Yeah. <coughs> Yeah, because if you're stuck playing an acolyte, that's like boring. Maybe like we'll play like a one-off, like just make like a scenario where it's like the acolytes are trying to like storm a hive that's been controlled by. Um, yeah, I think that's something. what many wargaming did. They do like a small scenario. They did like a yeah three-hour-long session and they recorded it and yeah. Hmm. I'm not saying we're gonna do that, but it's 2019. Joe McDonald. Those two look so cute together. That's gay. 2019, though, so it's okay. 
By those two, he meant the curtain and the warp. Next question comes from Jomel Apostle. How many years still remain for the emperor's body? Indefinitely. He's a perpetual too. But I mean, he has been decomposing. Mm -hmm. So I guess he's saying how much until it like completely turns into like a skeleton. I'd say maybe another like 5,000, 10,000. Yeah, I would agree, yeah. Even though he's very skeletal right now. I would say 5,000 more so than 10,000. Because if you, think, if you think about it, you decay. The, there's, um, what is it called? Your decay thing, your... It just, it's faster. It goes faster, right? You decay faster. You're decomposing and all that stuff. Yeah, but isn't there, there's a word for a half life. There you go. There you go. <laughs> we learned about it in biology. We got to cut the emperor in half and see how many rings he has. <laughs> like a tree. <laughs> Next question. <clears throat> uh, this one's by Defuo06. Who would win in hand-to-hand -hand combat? A Primaris Marine or a Stormcast Eternal? Age of Sigmar versus 40k. <laughs> 40k all day. Yeah, because Primaris, they have like freaking metal muscles they're 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 like an improved version of a space marine so like if just hypothetically saying if a stormcast eternal would be the equivalent to a space marine that primaris is a little above so primaris this is still the first part right to what to the video <laughs> yeah i can't remember first part next question comes from bunny hop what do you, th when do you think they'll bring back the Emperor if they ever do after the Primarch's return? Right? Yeah, I don't see the Emperor coming back until all his uh, sons have come back. Or okay. at least all the ones that are still alive. Gotta collect that cheddar from all of us. Cheddar. <laughs> but when he comes, whoo, I'm ready for it. <laughs> Next question. Uh, this one comes from. All be damned. There you go. Would it be possible to abduct an entire gene stealer cult whose gene stealers were emitting the psychic beacon planted on a world that I desired would be wiped out by the tyrannids? So you're saying if you physically took the whole gene stealer cult and moved it elsewhere so the tyrannids would come to that? That is exactly what Inquisitor Crippman did. Yeah, he, he, he led a trail of like... Was it? Were, they weren't gene stealer cults, though. Well, it was something Just else. Gene stealers. It? Yeah, he led the gene stealers. Brood. On like a path against chaos. Orcs. 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 That's how the Octarius sector. Oh, or really? the Octarius it was all, force. It was all him. It was him. Yeah. Um, but again, that's like the same thing as like you know, if you got mice, you got to bring a cat to it. But then. How do you get rid of the cat? Yeah. So. And you have to get a. Uh, an iguana. And how do you get rid of the iguana? You get a gorilla. Iguanas don't eat cats. Oh, yeah, they like, do. you're talking about the Simpsons episode. Yeah, and he's like, well, how do you get rid of the gorillas? The winter will kill them. <laughs> uh, <laughs> next question comes from Eliza Torres. There is no winter in space, Gersh. Isn't there? It's already winter. If XX and XY are needed for creation, my question is, what or who was used for XX female egg chromosomes? Hmm. So, you, so you're talking about evolution and okay, so, so I guess creating the prime or the space marine gene seed, no? Because like you have to like, I guess if you're like a birthed. Ah, okay, I get yeah. you. Yeah, 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 yeah. Uh, so when it comes to cloning, they are cloning. Um, well, no, modern clones have to be female, right? They can't be male. From my understanding, I'm not hundred percent sure. I took genetics a long time ago. If not, then that, that's your answer. So they're clones. They're not actual people. They're just like clones of the emperor or a piece of that. Um, so the Primarchs do not have a female uh, heir. Because even the emperor himself was made with magic. <laughs> so, you know, warp. hope that answers the question. Uh, next question, and I guess it'll be the last question, Marcel Goussard. Any paint tips for beginners besides two thin coats and thinning your paints? I don't do that. <laughs> it's all about the dry brush. Yeah, dry brush and washes. So put your paints on, add the wish washes, throw it in with some dry brush, and you're done. That's the best beginner's guide. 
And if you don't know what a wash and a dry brush is, uh, let me explain real quick. There are these paints called washes that are just watered down versions of regular paint. <coughs> After you're done painting your miniature however you want, you add like a, a sepia wash, you add a, a, a Nolan oil wash or something like that, and then it automatically brings out the um, dark crevices of all the model and makes it look nicer. And then once that's dried out, you go with whatever color you want highlights and then you put it on your brush, get that color, put it on your brush, you wipe that on like a piece of cloth or something, or your leg, and then you just um, uh, brush over the model with very, very little paint on the paintbrush uh, because you've already taken most of it off by doing it on the, the paper towel, and that's, a, that's dry brushing. There's a bunch of YouTube videos that show you how to paint stuff. There's There used to be a YouTube channel called Watching Paint Dry, I think, or Painting Fish, something like that. I used to watch it all the time. He hasn't posted in four years, <laughs> but he, he's pretty good at what he does. But yeah, those are the questions for today. As always, guys, if you guys have more questions for us, let us know down below by putting question in front of your question, because we usually get to those first. Also, if you have any suggestions, put suggestion before the suggestion to give us some more topics. This is Gershwin. The Sound Optimist, and we are out. Oh, I did this with my freedom.